It was the 28th annual Community Night Game at Waldo Stadium in Kalamazoo last Saturday night as the Western Michigan football team played host to the Georgia State Panthers, who came into the game 2-0, including a Week 1 win over Tennessee. The Bronco offense got it going early, scoring on the second play from scrimmage as Levante Bellamy ran it in from 60 yards out, one of three rushing touchdowns by Bellamy on Saturday night. The Broncos rolled up. 694 yards and a school record seven rushing touchdowns. On defense, Treshawn Hayward led the way with a career high 15 tackles. Final score, Western Michigan 57, Georgia State 10. I'm Robin Huck. Coming up, head coach Tim Lester joins me for all the highlights on week three of Bronco Review after this timeout. Bronco Review is presented by Greenleaf Trust. Financial security from generation to generation. Trust is in their name for a reason. They've earned it. And by Shupan, they know metal and plastic inside and out, creating a better environment through recycling. At Arbor, we're a cooperative financial institution who has been proudly growing across the mitten. Our purpose is to help members achieve their dreams through innovative financial solutions. I am Arbor. I am Arbor. I am Arbor Financial Credit Union. And I am here to serve you. And I am here to serve you. Little Caesars Hot and Ready Quattro Pizza is not one, not two, not three, but four tasty pizzas in one. You get a large pizza with two slices each of pepperoni, cheese, Italian sausage, and pepperoni, plus Italian sausage and bruschetta, all topped with a sprinkle of garlic and herb seasoning. Try Little Caesars Hot and Ready Quattro Pizza for just $7 tonight. Try our convenient app and pizza portal pickup. Pizza, pizza. Hi, I'm Jim Vandenberg with Maple Hill Subaru. We're inside the all-new 7-passenger Ascent from Subaru, which has the same DNA as the entire lineup of Subarus. You get the great fuel economy with the beauty of all-wheel drive to get you through that lake effect snow, the low center of gravity from the Boxer engine, along with the best crash avoidance system on the market today called EyeSight from Subaru. Come on out to Maple Hill Subaru and drive these amazing vehicles. Maple Hill Subaru, for a journey like no other. When leading edge medical care is what you need, will you be able to find it? When you find the perfect doctor for you, will you be able to choose her? Can one company give you the expertise, the technology, the choices, the peace of mind that your coverage is gonna work the way you want it? Count on it. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. Confidence comes with every card. In 1916, Warren Miller chose Auto Owners Insurance. Later, his son made the same choice, as did his grandson. And today, his great-granddaughter did the same. As we reflect on where we've been, we're grateful to our independent agents and to those who put their trust in us, and to the generations who will. Auto Owners Insurance. Nulty Insurance is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. Hand off Bellamy, big hole right up the middle. He may go to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, to the 15, 10, 5, touchdown Western Michigan. 60 yards to the house, Levante Bellamy and the Broncos lead it 6 to nothing. Quite a night for senior running back Levante Bellamy out of Indianapolis. He rushed for 192 yards and three touchdowns. Tim, when he gets loose, uh, he's going to take it to the house. Yeah, no one's catching him. I mean, he's, uh, he's our fastest player, and uh, D. Eskridge might not agree with that, but I think he's our fastest player, and we were able to get him in some space, and he had some big runs. Levante Bellamy ran a 4 2 8 40. This summer, lasered, which is which is impressive, and uh, we we haven't been able to get him into the open this first two weeks, but uh, in week three we definitely got him in the open, and he, he showed up for Community University tonight. Community University night, a tradition unlike any other. The Broncos <laughs> hosting Georgia State in this one, and there's Triumph ready to lead the team out onto the field after the pregame tailgate party at uh, Himes Field. Yeah, the baseball field was packed with people, and, and it was great. You could smell the barbecue, and, and uh, man, the crowd the crowd was loud, and you know, it's always fun taking the field, especially on Community University night. And, uh, you know, it was a good thing as we showed up to play from the get-go, and, and I was I was proud of the way they played. 
Great crowd on hand, and uh, they won the toss. You took the football, and you're in the end zone pretty quickly. Quick, you know, first play, you here it is. We went to we went to D. They came down and stopped. It was good to get Eskridge's first catch of the year, and then uh, you know, on the next play, I was able to get Bellamy in some space, and and there he goes. No one's catching him. Yep. Once he gets ahead of the pack, he's gone. <laughs> and uh, Levante into the end zone, 60 yards, and you're on top seven and nothing early. Quick, and we needed that because they're a team that's averaging 42 points a game, and you knew potential shootout, and uh, we had to get our side going and, and then see what they could get going. But we held them to a field goal on that first drive, which I thought gained a lot of confidence for our uh, defense and because uh, we knew that they were very potent on offense. Here comes one of the top kick returners in the nation right here. Keith Mixon Jr. and he got to the edge and uh, turned it upfield, got out near the 50 for the. Yeah, no one touched him. Nobody you know? touched him. It was, uh, I mean, great job by blocking, great job by Coach Palsik and the, all the special teams coaches and allowed us to, uh, to really have great field position, move down the field. Sky Moore making some plays, making people miss and able to cap off the drive. Sky had a nice game catching passes, but it was the ground game that was really working for you. Yeah, you know, in, in the RPO world, it's really their choice. You know, it's it, it, depending on, you get to decide whether we run or pass by what you do post snap. And I think John made good decisions all day. Good kick by Tiago Caps. And uh, you regain that seven point lead, 10-3. And there's Treshawn Hayward, Mac West Defensive Player of the Week. Yeah, he did a great job of making sure that uh, we kept Ellington in the pocket there. and. 15 tackles, a huge force fumble at the end of the second quarter to finish out that first half, and uh, he was a, he was the difference maker for us. All right, here you go to your other running back, Sean Tyler. True freshman uh, out of Chicago, really fast, reminds me of Bells, you know, and uh, it was fun to get him in, in some space and, you know, remember that name. He'll be around here for a while, and he, he's a really good player. He had an outstanding game with two rushing touchdowns and 138 yards on the ground. <laughs> He only had six carries. I had six carries, 138 <laughs> yards. I don't know if I've ever heard of anything like that. And uh, at the end of the game, we took him out. We, we felt like he had had plenty. We know we got long season ahead of us. And here's Bell's going again. And uh, you know, we we're just able to get to get these guys into the third level clean. And with their speed, no, there's not really no, not much you can do with it at that point. Tyler went for 61 yards, and then Bellamy back up the middle for a 36-yard touchdown. It's impressive when you see that kind of speed in, on a field, and, and we need to use it in many ways as humanly possible, and, and in this game, obviously, we did a good job of that. All right, back to the action second quarter, and the Broncos getting after it on defense. We've got some pressure on this quarterback, Ellington, who's outstanding quarterback. Yeah, I mean, they, like I said, they were high potent and, uh, coming in, and all they heard all week was, you know, this is probably the best offense we're going to face. And, I mean, a lot, of, a lot of the people were writing articles about how we couldn't, we couldn't hold a candle to their offense. And I think our offense took, took offense to that, and I think our defense took offense to that, and, and they came, definitely came out and played like it. Third rushing touchdown for that guy, Levante Belling, made a nice cutback into the middle of the field. And, yeah. Took it 73 yards. That was our inside zone concept. They decided to cloud the boundary, and he cut back behind it. The moment he cut behind it, it was just a foot race, and uh, and it was it was great to see him get out, get out again. Another turnover by the defense. Justin Tranquil goes up high and makes a pick. Justin played his best game. Uh, I mean, he looks good. He's, he's comfortable again. Uh, you know, D did such a good job into the boundary man and up that I, I really felt like uh, Trank, you know, had one of his better games in the last two years. Right, Nick Mahalik with the punt, and your special teams coach did a great job covering punts and kicks and setting up uh, field position for your team. Yeah, Braden Fist made a tackle on punt. I mean, one of our upbacks, that's a defensive lineman that ran down the field 40 yards and made a tackle. And, uh, you yeah, know, it's just fun to watch our defense get more and more confidence as the game went on because they did move the ball early, but they were able to hit that guy, did a good job of mixing up zone and man, and, uh, you know, being able to do the things we can do with D out there really allows tranquil and some of those guys to, have to be able to freelance a little bit and and John he didn't get to throw it much but he was efficient the whole time. Alex Grace made that tackle on D and then you go back over the middle to Sky Moore. Sky Moore is a, is a, like we've been talking about him he's young he's he's you know exciting and there's Sean Tyler again another freshman and uh, those guys are really taking advantage of their opportunities. All right another run play to Sean and he <laughs> takes it to the end zone. It's like a blur when he's out there and uh you know, the guys, love, I love the fact that he works, he works so hard. You know, he loves, loves playing and, and he has a bright future. He had a good running back too in Barnett, but uh, you got him stopped in the second half. Yeah, he popped a couple runs and, and you know, when you're playing zone and, and you're playing over the top to, to, to limit passing game, he's going to get some yards. 
But uh, we did a good job of converging on them, and, and we really shut them down the second half. This team beat Tennessee, folks, in week one. Yeah, they, I mean, handle. I mean, they got after Tennessee, and, and we knew we had to match their energy because they had a ton of energy in week one, and, and I definitely felt our guys, and I think the fans that were there felt our, our guys did that. Nice play by Ali Fayed there, and here your defense gets them stopped again. Yeah, the biggest thing there was Trey turned them in. You know, that, that was a speed option scheme where you can't let it get to the edge, and we got, we're going to need that for when we play Ohio because that's what they do, and we turned them in, forced the fumble, and set up a, uh, a last-minute touchdown by John. And uh, which was huge going into the half. Greg Spears with the fumble recovery, and here's Wasink going to work, and he doesn't find anybody, then jukes the <laughs> defender and takes it to the end zone. Uh, hey, he, he tells Bellamy, I can score touchdowns on the ground too. He's, he's a great athlete, and it's just it's another piece of the offense that when you have a quarterback that can run, I mean, you can score points, you know, and so uh, it was great to see him get himself involved. Broncos on top, 43 to 10 at the half. We'll come back and look at the second half highlights after this timeout on Bronco Review. Are you considering home improvements? You should consider BlackBerry. BlackBerry has completed several home improvement projects in our neighborhood, so when we were ready for 20 new replacement windows, we called BlackBerry. They completed the project on time and their workmanship was outstanding. Our friends are amazed and we love the transformation of our home both inside and out with our new windows from BlackBerry Home Improvement Specialists. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. At Galesburg Ford, we stand behind our football teams. I like the Honolulu blue and silver. I'm a fan of the purple and gold. Weston's brown and gold, all the way. We may cheer for different teams, but our team here at Galesburg Ford has one goal. And that's great customer satisfaction as we find you a new car, truck, or SUV. So whether it's a brand new Ford or a certified used vehicle, score your next car at Galesburg Ford. Touchdown! Galesburg Ford. Not too far from your next car. All athletes strive to perform at their peak. And meeting that goal means putting in extra hours on the trail, in the gym, or on the court. It also means refueling after a tough workout. Chocolate milk has carbohydrates and protein to rebuild muscles, plus electrolytes to replenish your body. And with no additives, chocolate milk is nature sports drink. So after your next training session, reach for the natural choice to help you meet your performance goals. Chocolate Milk, the unofficial recovery beverage of athletes everywhere. The numbers don't lie. At Arbor Financial Credit Union, our numbers work for you. Numbers like zero, the amount you'll pay in checking fees and at Arbor or co-op ATMs. Then there's $200, the average savings on mortgage closing costs when our members use their credit union. You should probably know about five, the percentage lower your credit card rate could be compared to a bank. Take advantage of all our numbers. Not a member? Start saving today. Arbor Financial. Bank here. Grow here. At Western Michigan University, your education pays off. Western Michigan is a top-tier school, ranked better than most across the nation. But that's not surprising, because Broncos get jobs fast. Jobs they love, that are in their field. But the best news? You arrive here looking for an education. You graduate prepared for an amazing life. It's a great day to be a Bronco. Pump fake. He's going to go deep up the left side. He's got Bustle. Touchdown, Western Michigan. Deshaun Bustle was wide open. He took it right up the number. Starts into the end zone for his first career touchdown. Forty-three to ten at halftime, Coach. What do you talk about after a first half like that? Uh, score zero zero. We had to beat them in the, in the second half, and that's all we did. And and we were not even talking about the score. It's zero zero at halftime, and let's win the second half. And they came out and kept playing. Defense held them to ten points in the first half. Shut them out in the second half. In fact, they only had thirty-eight yards in the second half. It was impressive. I mean, we started getting in the backfield, and I really, I really felt we suffocated their run game. Uh, you know, and we were getting after them pass game wise. I couldn't even drop back and hitch. So it was, it was, it was a dominating performance in the second half by the defense. And I thought our offense came out. We got the ball. We went down and scored. It was a huge drive. We had a 99 yard, 98 yard drive. Love taking the field during the fireworks. I purposely try to get out so our kids get to see that because it is such an awesome atmosphere and, uh, and hopefully, you know, helps us kick off the third quarter. Great halftime show by the band. Some visiting band members from, uh, 
uh, high schools around the state of Michigan, around the area, and then the fireworks, and now the Broncos go back to work, and the defense really rose up in yeah. the second half. Did you see that play? I mean, that, that was a ball that got thrown, and he still took a hit, and that's the key. That wears a quarterback down over time when he's getting hit, getting hit, getting hit, getting hit, and, uh, and then we got to go back to work on offense. We drove down. 98 yards and capped it off, and, and it was Bustle with a great double. They've been jumping on it all day long on those hitches, and we were just waiting for the right time to call it. And that is, uh, that's actually one of the ones I called, and the timing was good, and, and we, we got him. Deshaun Bustle with that 41-yard touchdown reception, his first career touchdown. I think he'll score a few more. Yeah, he's got four years to do it, and he's, he's running hard. He's just he's really comfortable. It's great. He got the red shirt last year. He's more comfortable. He's not really like a true freshman like Sky, and, uh, you know, he's, I'm, I'm looking for a big, big things out of him. All right, there's Zaire Barnes with the tackle on their running back. Uh, Najee Clayton makes a, a nice form tackle there, wrapping up, bringing – down Barnett and the Bronco defense just uh, just denying them. Yeah, the, the depth is really what shows. I mean, we have our twos in the game, and you have Najee's in there and Grace is in there. and I mean, we have a bunch of guys that have played a ton of football, and, and Claiborne's in there as a two. So it's it, our twos are really good, you know? And so we were just able to keep coming and throw waves at them, and, and I think eventually wore it on their offense. Had to be a great running back room on Monday when you watched the film. It would, yeah, they had, I mean, you know, they bought, they bought their old line. Some donuts, some sweet water. I mean, that's what they do. And uh, so after they took care of the old lineman, I'm sure they had a blast watching it. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, some more runs inside by the Broncos. And uh, uh, you scored two second-half touchdowns, uh, but you got a lot of experience for some backup guys. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we put our twos in offensively at end of the third quarter. So there's a whole fourth quarter of young guys that, that are either seniors that have never really played or freshmen that are up-and-comers. And... Uh, so it was fun to watch them, you know. Rashawn Davies out there running around, and uh, it was, and they had their young quarterback in, and it was all just twos on twos. He's a valuable experience for some of our freshmen. And Fisk got in there, and Andre Carter was still playing because they need the reps. You're, some of your young guys need those reps. So it was, uh, you know, yes, you want the clock to run, but these are valuable reps for these guys. Griffin Allstadt, a quarterback for the Broncos, and then some uh, backup guys on defense getting some. Valuable experience. There's Carter in there making a tackle. Mm -hmm. He's going to be a good one. He is. He's got to stay on sides. He has a hard time with a hard <laughs> count. I mean, I think he's been in, he's had three games and four offsides. Uh, if you give him a hard count, he's, he's working on it. We worked on it this week. But, uh, you know, it's, it's great when these guys get to get in. They, they sit on the sideline. There are look teams a lot. They cheer. I mean, they're part of this program. And it's so much fun that they get a chance to go out there and play. And it means a lot to them. So the Broncos go to 2-1 and one with a 57-10 win over Georgia State out of the Sun Belt Conference. We'll be back with more Bronco Review after this timeout. You trust Dunchy Body and Frame for all your collision repair work, but they offer so much more, like paintless dent repair, brakes and wheel alignment, and perfect paint matching. Dunchy also works with all insurance companies to make sure your vehicle is restored to pre-accident condition. So for personal service and high-quality workmanship, call Dunchy Body and Frame at 375-2100 or visit their website, dunchybody.com. Dunchy Body and Frame, part of your community since 1973. Hi, I'm Jim Vandenberg with Maple Hill Volkswagen. This is the Volkswagen Tiguan. It comes in both five and seven passenger models, and now it's joined by its big brother, the Atlas, which comes in a seven passenger and eight passenger model, completing the SUV lineup. All Volkswagens are backed by a six year, 72,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty best in the business. These are German engineered, value priced, with the longest warranty in the industry. Maple Hill Volkswagen for a journey like no other. At Arbor, we're a cooperative financial institution who has been proudly growing across the mitten. Our purpose is to help members achieve their dreams through innovative financial solutions. I am Arbor. I am Arbor. I am Arbor Financial Credit Union. And I am here to serve you. And I am here to serve you. Hi, we are the Quattro Brothers. People assume we're exactly the same, but we're not. We like different kinds of pizza. I like cheese. I like pepperoni. I like sausage and pepperoni. I like sausage and bruschetta. Here's your Quattro pizza. We also have different shoe sizes.
It's four tasty pizzas in one. Get a large Little Caesars Quattro for just seven bucks. Pizza, 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 pizza. More devices, more apps, more streaming. Today, we need more speed than ever to stay connected. So we're making the best in-home Wi-Fi experience even better. We're giving our customers faster speeds and including them in our most popular plans at no additional cost. We've increased our speeds 17 times in 17 years. So you can keep streaming, sharing, and connecting like never before. Xfinity, the future of awesome. He's got the first down. He's into the secondary again. Oh, he may go again. He's to midfield. They won't catch him. He's gone. Levante Bellamy, 10, 5. Touchdown, Western Michigan. They go inside to Sean Tyler. He's into the secondary. He may go. He's at the 30. They won't catch him. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Western Michigan. The freshman, Sean Tyler, with his first Bronco touchdown. Well, a few years back, it was Franklin and Bogan. Now it's Bellamy and Tyler, one-two punch at running back, Coach. Yeah, and, and to get through a season, you need more than one. And and Tucker's really kind of got his, you know, around that too. And so we have three guys we think that we can make it through a season. It's a, it's a physical game. And uh, I'm really excited about that group we got in there. And an outstanding performance by the offensive line. I know they got together and wanted to improve. And wow. <laughs> <laughs> big day on the ground for the Broncos, thanks to those guys. Yeah, it's a, as big of a rushing day as I've ever had, you know, and I think we've had here in a long time. And, and we, we ran the ball at will, and those guys did that. And, and uh, tight ends involved. We ran a lot of 11 and 12 personnel, and, and those guys got together. They understood this defense is a unique defense, so the angles are a little different. And uh, our guys continued to run. It makes the line have to run a lot. They ran a lot from sideline to sideline every play. And, uh, and they did a great job, and, and they got rewarded with some sweet waters, and, and now they're ready for the next uh, opponent. 450 yards rushing by the Broncos in that game against Georgia State. Luke Jurega is your center. He kind of quarterbacks that group up front. He does. He makes all the calls, and, you know, there's so much experience. you got junior, junior, senior, junior, junior, and they've all played a ton of football. And we actually rotated some of the younger guys in there early in the second quarter. And, uh, and they had just the same amount of success. So it was, uh, it was fun to see those guys dominate up front and everyone have success because of them. You got Jalen Moore up there. You got Mike Caliendo. You got Jeriga, uh, uh Asbury. Cans. Cans. Yeah. Dethridge. Yep. Uh, Brooks. Brooks. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a deep group. And, uh, and we have a couple of freshmen we really like. We just didn't want to use their games up because we, we have, think we have some the future interior guys already. And um, so we're, we're, it's a bright future up there. And uh, I would love to be a running back behind the group we got playing right now. All right, need some uh, outstanding offensive line play this week against an opponent from the ACC. We'll look ahead to the Syracuse game next on Bronco Review. What do you do when you discover something great? Well, you tell your friends and family about it, right? Well, that's exactly how Lake Michigan Credit Union became the largest credit union in Michigan. With one of the highest checking account rates in the nation, and guarantee low mortgage rates, word is spreading fast about Lake Michigan Credit Union. Earn more when you save, pay less when you borrow. Lake Michigan Credit Union, the best place for your money. When you need home improvements, you should call Blackberry. Do you need a new roof? Give us a call. We're one of the area's most trusted and professional roofing contractors, having completed thousands of roofing jobs throughout West Michigan. Right now, you can save 50% off the installation of our new roofing, featuring the Owens Corning Duration Shingle that comes with a limited lifetime warranty for installation and materials. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. No matter what pops up during your day, Ascension Borges makes it easy to get the care you need, anytime, from anywhere. Now you can see a doctor online right from home 24 7. Check in online for urgent and ER care or even schedule a visit with a primary care doctor. You'll find it all at GetAscensionMichiganCare.com with locations across West Michigan. Western's brown and gold all the way. We may cheer for different teams but our team here at Galesburg Ford has one goal and that's great customer satisfaction as we find you a new car, truck, or SUV. So whether it's a brand new Ford or a certified used vehicle Score your next car at Galesburg Ford. Touchdown! Galesburg Ford. That's you for your next car. 
The numbers don't lie. At Arbor Financial Credit Union, our numbers work for you. Numbers like zero, the amount you'll pay in checking fees and at Arbor or co-op ATMs. Then there's $200, the average savings on mortgage closing costs when our members use their credit union. You should probably know about five, the percentage lower your credit card rate could be compared to a bank. Take advantage of all our numbers. Not a member? Start saving today. Arbor Financial. Bank here. Grow here. Stun up front by Georgia State. Wassing steps up in the pocket. Shoots one man, takes it to the end zone for the touchdown. What a move by Wassing. As he juke the linebacker in the hole and stepped to his right and took it to the house. What a move by John Wasink, and he takes it into the end zone for a rushing touchdown, one of those seven on the ground last week. Yeah, he, uh, he has that in his game. We don't try to use it a ton unless he has to, but uh, we like him to throw touchdowns. But uh, he's got a lot of ability, and, and we'll use it when we need it. Going to need great quarterback play this week against an ACC opponent, Syracuse, where you called home for a while there, three years of your career. I did. I did, and I know there's not a lot of players left anywhere. There's a couple of players, their punter and uh, their, their running back that, that I've recruited or that I know of, but, uh, but they're a good team. They won 10 games last year. They lost to Clemson and Maryland, which are both ranked teams, and uh, got to go to the Dome, and it'll be a challenge. And we played them last year. We, we played well in the second half. We struggled in the first half. And uh, So the challenge is going to be there. I know our guys are excited. Coach Lester was the quarterback coach there for a time and the offensive coordinator, and now under Coach Babers, they like to go quick. They do. I mean, we should remember them from the MAC. They, when they won the MAC championship, they go fast. They're, they're like Baylor, and, uh, you know, they're explosive on offense. And uh, they got a new quarterback that they're breaking in, but it'll be, it'll be fun in the Dome. Our kids get a chance to play in the Dome, which is a really unique place, and uh, we're, we're excited for the opportunity. Coach Babers was at Bowling Green before he went to Syracuse, and uh, – Played them last year in a wild one at Waldo Stadium. Yeah, they took the big lead early, and then we came flying back. Cut it to six, I think, twice, and uh, couldn't keep up with them. They had a really good senior quarterback last year, and uh, and he's gone. And, and they've been struggling a little bit, but they still have the offense, the capability to score a lot. Uh, we have to play good on offense, defense, push teams, everything will be challenged. Uh, it'll be a great challenge for us. Coach, good luck there. Appreciate it. And we'll be back next week with all the highlights from the Dome in Syracuse, Western Michigan, and the Syracuse Orange of the ACC. That's our show for today. We'll be back next week, same time. See you then. I'm Bronco Review.